So there's a saying in the training community that you are your own first responder, and we are going to elaborate on that and how it pertains to our outdoor adventures. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, it's Thomas with Get Out Arizona, and you are watching another fantastic episode of Garage Talk, where today we are going to be talking about the importance of first aid or a trauma kit on the trail. Now, I'm gonna put my glasses on because I have my iPad, as you can see. Um, some notes and information about my kit. Um, but yes, why it is so important that carrying something like this, make sure I got it right side up, like this, uh, can be the difference between life and death on the trail, and not to be so dramatic about that, but for you, it, it is, it's true, for you or for someone you might come across. So, um, and like I said in the introduction, the saying in the training community is you're your own first responder. And the reason being is if something were to happen to you, you are the person who's there in the immediate. And it's up to you to respond, assess, and then you're going to call for help, whether that's fire department, paramedics, rangers, if you're out on the trail, somebody, and then you have to wait. So no matter what, <laughs> you're the first person who's responding to your critical incident, for lack of a better term, we'll call it a critical incident. Now, on the trail, this can even be more important, I think, because think about it, if we're hiking and we're an hour into our hike, well, now whoever, whether that's county sheriff, park rangers, combination of both, whatever the case may be, they have to get to us. They're either gonna have to come in by chopper or they're gonna have to hike it themselves. And if it took you an hour to get to that point, how long do you think it's gonna take them? So it's super important when it comes to matters of first aid and first you know, medical assessment, trauma assessment, and being able to respond. And that's why in all my packs, I carry a trauma kit. This is my everyday carry trauma kit. I carry one of these when I'm out on a photographic assignment. I carry one of these on every mountain bike ride, every hike that I go on. I actually have multiples, so I don't have to keep taking them in and out of the various bags that I have, okay? And some of you guys might think that's a little extreme. I call it being efficient. Um, you'll probably think it's more extreme when I tell you how much I had to pay for these things, but uh, we're gonna break this one down. This one's actually made by Dark Angel uh, Medical. This is not a paid review. I get, received nothing from them. I've used my own money, and I used my own money to buy the Leatherman uh, Raptor shears, which we're gonna talk about, um, but I can't say enough good things. Now, have I actually had to use the full-blown kit out on the trail yet? No. I've had to use the shears a couple times though. <laughs> um, but I am thankful that I have this and, and we'll discuss why in a moment. So um, breaking this down, the everyday kit costs $99. You could do a couple upgrades and that brings that price up to $114 total. It's the maximum you're gonna pay. We're gonna talk about what's in here and we're gonna start with the Leatherman Raptor shears. Now these are not included in this kit though Dark Angel does include a set of shears. Now, the reason I went with the Raptors is these things will do anything you need them to do, okay? I can skin a mountain lion with these. And um, I'll link it up top. <laughs> if you saw our last video uh, about hand protection, it's how I had to cut the glove off my hand and I've had to use these twice out in the field. Um, so they come in handy. Um, again, I have them with my everyday trauma kit that I carry with me on assignment, my truck and everything. It has a seatbelt cutter. These things are gonna do everything you need to in a crisis situation. Let's hope you never have to use them, but if you do, these are the ones to get. There's gonna be a link down below on those for Amazon. Let me open this back up. <clears throat> now, the second thing in the kit, and this is included in the kit, is a Cat7 tourniquet. Now, for those of you who do not properly know how to use a tourniquet, I strongly recommend that you go online, and I'll leave a link down below, and take uh, sign up for a local Stop the Bleed class, okay? Certified instructor in your area to administer that class. They will teach you everything you need to know. It's a great class. I've taken it multiple times. You should really learn how to properly use this. If you don't and you still use it, I mean, you can fuck it up, but difference between someone bleeding out and doing the tourniquet the right way, you know, pick your poison on that. But it's always good to have a tourniquet. Now, the kit itself, 
um, is very compact, and I think that's one of the beauty things about this, but it is packed with a lot of good stuff. So we just tear it open on the front, and as you can see, everything is vacuum sealed. So if you need to, you would cut with your shears and open this up. Now, what this includes is hemostatic gauze, which is gauze. I'm gonna show this over here too, so you can see that um, a little bit more zoomed in. Um, hemostatic gauze has stop clot mixed in with the gauze. So when you put it onto that wound, that stop clot's gonna, and it's gonna help coagulate the blood and stop the bleeding, okay? In case you don't necessarily need the tourniquet, <laughs> you have the hemostatic gauze. Um, there's gonna be a pressure bandage in here. There is a set of gloves in here, which is important. I don't know if I would necessarily use a glove just because I'd just be like, ah, whatever, you know, I'm a knuckle dragger. <laughs> I'll rub some bleach on it afterwards or something. Um, but there is a set of gloves in here and there are a, there's a pair of uh, chest seals. And I hope to God you never come across something on the trail where you have to use not only a tourniquet, but a chest seal. That's bad. And there's bubbles blowing. It's, it's not good, guys. Now, I've never experienced anything that on the trail, but I, I've seen enough to know the importance of every item that's in here, seriously. Um, and it's important because not to, you know, sound again, overly dramatic, but minutes matter, you know, and in a crisis situation where there's a medical emergency, which it's dangerous out there, guys, you could trip, you know, not only fracture a bone, laceration, OTB over the bars, run into a cactus, whatever the case may be, there's, legitimate things that can and do happen out on the trail. So the more we're prepared to counteract those incidents properly, um, the safer we can be and our chances, increase our chances of a positive outcome. Um, and by that, I mean, you know, we get to help or help gets to us and we're able to get proper medical attention at a medical facility and then heal up and then come back and enjoy another hike. Um, I don't want to personally be that person who said, God, you know, I wish I had something to help the person I came across and then that person died. I would feel horrible um, as far as that goes. But I also don't want to be the person lying there going, fuck, if I only had a first aid kit, I could probably get out of this, you know? And even though we're in a modern society where cell service is prevalent almost everywhere, there's still areas where it's not. This is why I use a sat locator and that's a show for a different time. Um, and what you should do to improve, again, your likelihood of a positive outcome um, and preparation for what we do. Um, every little bit helps. I think every little bit does matter and every little bit can play a role, whether uh, minor or magnificent in that positive outcome. So that being said, guys, I know, it's almost like I could get nominated for most dramatic role <laughs> in a bad YouTube video from the Academy. So I'm joking, guys. I just, I, I take safety very seriously and I want everybody to have a good time. And more importantly, I want you to get back home. Um, and if something were to happen, some type of accident or um, you come across somebody that's been injured, having the ability to help yourself or help others, I think is priceless. Now, like I said, you know, the price on these kits is $99, $114 if you max them out. I do think that's a small price to pay for a peace of mind, knowing that you could treat yourself or treat somebody else. I think it's very important. So um, the links to the Raptor Shears, the Stop the Bleed, Bleed class, and the Dark Angel you know, EDC are gonna be down below. Now those are not affiliate links. I haven't been paid, compensated in any way, like I said, to do this video. I just think it's important for me to share this information with you guys, okay? Now, do with it what you will. You can sit there and go, Thomas is crazy, <laughs> and I am. Um, maybe I'm a little overly cautious on certain things, but I've seen enough to know, um, you know, it's, it's good to have what you need to get out of any particular situation. So, that being said, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification icon button for Pete's sakes. Couple things are gonna happen when you do. One, it's gonna help out this video. It's gonna help out the channel and other videos like this. Dramatic, funny, comedy drama, <laughs> trail video, uh, toolbox topic. You'll see them all. You'll be one of the first ones to know about it because you'll get a notification. And by hitting the other two, again, it helps the algorithm, which is gonna help us with park passes, 
coffee money, gas money. Um, I, I still haven't hit the thousand subs yet, guys. So everything I do is coming out of my own pocket, but I enjoy it and I enjoy sharing this with you. And so it's really gonna help out a lot if you hit that like and subscribe button. Also, there's gonna be links down below to our social media, the devil's work, I tell you but it's mandatory and that's gonna be Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So follow us there. You'll get all the daily gossip. There's no daily gossip, but you'll get all the daily stuff that we are up to, including uh, group rides and group hikes. A lot of fun stuff, guys. So it'd be great if you were able to participate with us and be part of the action. You know, I always say it's, it's good to be part of the, the team. We're not the cool kids, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Not by any stretch of the imagination, but we have our own gang and I think it's good. So, um, and then yeah, the links down below, some of them are affiliate links. And if you click one of those links and you make a qualifying purchase, um, we'll receive a small commission, but you will not be charged any additional. And like I said, these items are not affiliate links. I don't have affiliate links for these yet. And you know, it doesn't make a difference because I believe in everything that I use, like I said, with the glove video, with the mechanics gloves, everything I use, I believe in. I wouldn't be up here shilling away for some crappy con con uh, company that doesn't make an exceptional product and doesn't back it on you know the tail end with good customer service. So um, I've been dealing with Dark Angel Medical for a few years now, super, super good. Um, and they make a superior product and I feel better having this stuff with me at all times. So that being said, guys, what do I always say? Be kind to yourself and others. Gosh darn it, because it's the good thing to do. It's the right thing to do. Be amazing stewards out on that trail because we're here to not only educate, um, but to help our fellow adventurer, you know? Lead by example, guys. It's super easy. And then we gotta ask, what are you waiting for? How many times I gotta ask and say it? Get out Arizona. We will see you on that next adventure. Take care, everybody. Have a great day.